to engage in verbal gymnastics and pass hollow words about the status of women in this country, as it has become custom every single year. By the end of the day today, after our hollow words here, over 100 women would have been victims of sexual crimes perpetrated by men in this country. By the end of the day, a woman somewhere in the remote South Africa would have been murdered by a man close to her. Her murder will go unreported because rural women in this country are silenced in life as they are silenced in death. By the end of the day, thousands of women will go to bed bruised, beaten up by men they call husbands and boyfriends. Somewhere in the rural Eastern Cape today, under the pretext of cultural practice called Ukutwala, a young girl will be abducted from school and forced to marry an old man who carries diseases. Where our words not as hollow, where we resolute about pulverizing the toxic notions of masculinity in this country, Kentani Maseko will not have died, such as lonely death after having been raped by a person she thought was her boyfriend. Had we, as the legislature, been serious about holding the executive to account, would have ensured that law enforcement agencies do their job and that today the person who raped Kentani would be behind bars. But this is not because it has become custom for us to speak about women issues only in August and then men among us here will go back to their women bashing conduct. Kentani is one name in a long list of names of women who have lost their lives at the hands of men who feel entitled to women's bodies. Some include Ntombizotwa Jamini, Zolile Kumalo, CM Lee, Anene Boyzen, River Stienkap, Karabo Mukwena, and many, many more who were not reported. What have we done to our sons, our brothers, our fathers, and our lovers? Why are you killing us like flies? While women feel chained in a country of their own birth, the president saw so it fit to have someone as in president, a person who has condemned as widows more than 34 women whose husbands were murdered at the instant, at the insistence of Mr. Ramaphosa in Marikana. The women of Marikana today are forced to raise conduct of the president. If he want, she wants to go ahead, she may do so through a substantive motion. She knows very, very well. Thank you. I will check the insert and make a considered ruling. Continue, Honourable Member. We have, as a deputy president, a person well known for using his money and influence to sleep his way around in Pumalang. As the EFF, we believe there needs to be, some, to be systematic approach to empowering women to ensure that they are never at the mercy of men for their order, livelihoods. Order, order, order. Honourable House Member, House. will you just take order. your seat? Order, yes. House Chair. Yes, Honourable Member. House Chair, this House has rules, and this Honourable yes. Member can never come to podium without having a semblance of what's contained On what here. rule are you rising, now, Honourable Member? Now, I'm rising on the same principle I was rising, the principle that she would draw that call for order? And, Thank you. and submit a you, substantive motion for consideration. We can't be. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Honourable Member. Order. Honourable Member, why are you rising? You have made a ruling. He must live with it. You are going to consult the Hansard and come back to the house. So he must just chill and o sit Honourable, down there. Honourable Member, will you take your seat, please? That was a ruling on the previous comments of the mate. Order, Chair. Now I'm dealing with this. My order is exactly on that, Chair. I'll come back to you, Honourable Member. Chair, the rules on, do not apply to offices. They apply to members. I'll come back to the you. The member has not referred to any person. He I'll, referred I'll to the office. I'll come back to you. So asking her to withdraw is unfair. No, the your order seat. is furious. Take your seat, honorable member. Honorable member, you must withdraw that remark. Honorable member. Wait, Chairperson. Just it, chill. Don't be agitated. In terms of which rule are you I, rising now? We are rising on Rule 45, Chairperson. Rule 45? Yes. What does so, Rule 45 say? Uh, Chairperson, we have... Rule 45 says that a quorum is required for taking uh, uh, decisions. Uh, 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 wait. That is not Rule we 45. We are rising on a rule of a point of order, You are wrong, Honourable Member. You quote the wrong rule. Yes, I quoted the wrong rule, but I'm rising on a point of order on you so as what, the Chair. So what is a point of order now? The point of order is... The speaker on the podium 
you have made a ruling uh, the member there. The member must live with that ruling. For you now to revisit and, and, and review your own ruling because, because it, re it rose for the second time, it's wrong. And there's nothing about deputy president where there, is, uh, there are aspersions being cast here. Just allow the house to flow. You will come back Thank to you, the house member. with a ruling. Thank you. Will you take your seat now? Thank we you. will take a seat. Can the speaker Thank continue? Thank you. No, Chairman. honorable member. I expect the speaker at the podium to withdraw the remark. House chair? Yes. Although I did not say a person, no. I said in office, I withdraw. Continue, honorable member. We want women given equal opportunities to men, to be paid equal for the same job as men, to be given rights to land, and to control over their bodies without men meditating, mediating what is right and not about women's bodies. In honor of Mama, Z Mama Zondeni Veronica Sobukwe, who has joined the realm of the ancestors, we recommit ourselves to that timeless ideal for which her, who li who her life was dedicated to complete liberation of African people from the yoke of neo-colonialism neo and oppression. We, the EFF, commit ourselves to working day and night Honourable to member, ensure that as we march forward, expired. we ensure complete freedom from patriarchy and oppression. We leave no woman Hon behind. Thank you. Honorable House, such lady, Winnie Madikezela Mandela. I think to a very large extent, she was underreported. And also recognizing the role of my very own leader, VZ Magwaza Amsibi, and the role that she has played, particularly in the Zululand District Municipality, and many of the women seated here today. My late mom, my late sister, who played a mammoth task in where I am today. But honorable chairperson, I have a problem. I have a problem, House Chair. Once again, I see hypocrisy at its highest level. I heard the member of the EFF come to this podium and talk about women's involvement, women's emancipation, protection of women's rights. But what about the lives of Maggie Class and Mogo Komane, who have been brutally assaulted and abused by their members? And they do very little or nothing about it. Shouldn't charity begin Order at home? Chair. Shouldn't you have done something in your own Order home? Chair. Honorable Isn't member. Where it should start? Honorable Sheikh Imam, will you take your seat, please? Chair, I'm rising in terms of. Honorable Sheikh Imam, take your seat, please. Sit down, when. Honorable member, what is your point of order? Chair, this member must stick to his speech. He must not even try to start with EFF because what he is raising now is something that is not even there. And he must Honourable not member. enter to politics of EFF. Honourable member. This member must answer to what he stole Honourable money member, will you from, take your his, seat, please? from his workers. He must tell us how much he stole from member. your workers, Chief. Take your please. seat. Honourable Sheikh Imam, will you continue, please? Thank you, House Chair. Chair, the, the, the question is, why is there one law for the EFF and another law for everyone else? When different parties had challenges Chair, here, they are the ones that are grandstanding here. Honourable Member, will you take your seat, please? Yes, Honourable Member, why are you rising? I rise on point of order. Yes. So this person, sure, his speech is not about EFF. And he must refrain from talking about something that Honourable he does not member. know. He is not going to continue with his speech. Honourable Member, take he your seat. He stole the money from his Honourable workers, Honourable Member, this one. take your Policemen seat. Policemen were here looking for him. Yeah, he's a thief. Honourable Member, We're going to take show your you. seat, Honourable Member. Why are you rising, Honourable Member? House Chair, I would have really loved the House to proceed in this. What is the point of order, Honourable Member? The point of order is that members must refer to each other in a respectful manner, one. But two, to refer to a member and, and say that he is a thief is completely unparliamentary and accept, unacceptable. She must then withdraw thank, it. Thank you, Honourable she, Member. Honourable Member. Will you withdraw the remark, please? I'm not going to withdraw. The policemen were here. Honourable Member, Ch uh, uh, you Chair. must withdraw the remark. Chair, let me remind you. Do you remember when no, the police came here in the South looking member, for the thief? I'm not debating the matter with you. you. Uh, uh, Chair, I expect you, you, you to withdraw the remark. You also call him because police were looking for him. He's a thief. Honourable Member, Honourable Member, you must withdraw that remark.
You, you must submit your allegations in the form of a substance per the rules. You must withdraw the remark. S switch my microphone. Chairperson. Yes. But what is the use of debating in this house if you are going to withdraw truth? Because you, you also remember when you intervened on his case, when he was looking by police. Honorable member, you must withdraw the remark. No, I'm not. Then you must leave the house. Yes, remember. I will leave the house. Thank you. He is a thief. He remains a thief. You must leave the house, honorable member. All the honorable members. Continue, Honourable Member. Thank you, House Chair. The Honourable Member wants to talk about stealing. She must answer where the 20 million rand is missing from her party accounts at the moment. On a point Maybe of that's order, what she House should Chair. be telling us. On a point of order, House Thank Chair. Thank you, Ma'am. Will you take your seat, please? Why are you rising, Honourable Member? House Chair, can this man just please, the Honourable Member, stick to his speech? Can Thank you, Honourable can Member. Speak that's about not on point hand. of order. Continue, Honourable Member. Thank you, House Chair. 